Welcome back, slide roll fans. This is going to be a video comparing the Frederick Post Versalog slide roll and Versalog 2 slide roll and the KNE Decelon slide roll. Two high end duplex slide rolls from the end of the slide roll era. Um, we'll have a look at both of them, look at the similarities, the differences, why one might be better than the other, um, and then I invite you to uh, comment below. Uh, with your thoughts on the uh, Versalog versus Decelon debate. Um, so, first the Frederick Post Versalog slide roll here on top. Uh, this is Post model 1460. Uh, this slide roll is made by Hemi in Japan. Uh, Hemi is the largest uh, manufacturer of slide rolls at the time. Um, and Frederick Post Company has a long uh, history of importing their slide rolls to the United States. Uh, this is an original Versalog style, uh, slide roll, uh, the type which is introduced in 1950 or 1951. Sources vary. Um, let's look at the other side. There is a later Versalog slide roll introduced in 1968, um, which is a little bit different than this one. Um, it's usually called the Versalog 2. Uh, here is a Versalog 2. Um, We'll talk about some of the similarities and differences of the Versalog 1 versus Versalog 2, uh, but here is, a, here is a Versalog 2. Okay, um, let's go back to the Versalog 1 here. Um, okay, uh, the Versalog replaces the Frederick Post model 1462H as their high-end uh, log-log uh, trigonometry slide roll. I have a separate video on the 1462H uh, from last week. Um, if you're interested in looking at that slide roll, which I think is an interesting slide roll. Um, okay, the Versalog has 23 scales on the original Versalog and 24 scales on the Versalog 2. Um, the Versalog is uh, typical Hemi engraved celluloid over bamboo construction. Um, let's look at the cross section here. Um, very nice uh, construction. Has metal cursor, or sorry, metal cursor frame, glass cursor, uh, single hairline, um, very classic uh, slide roll looks. Okay, the second slide roll we have here is the uh, K&E Decelon slide roll. Um, the Decelon is introduced in 1962 uh, basically to compete with the Versalog in the American market and also some picket rules. Um, okay, and uh, K&E makes the Decelon through the end of the uh, slide roll era, uh, same as Hemi and the Versalog, uh, sometime in the in the early mid 70s. Um, okay, the Decelon is replacing the K&E 4081 series or 4080 series. Uh, the Decelon um, is a plastic slide roll, uh, all plastic. Um, the the literature calls it precision molded. Um, okay, but it has metal end braces, it has a plastic cursor uh, with metal cursor frame, um, similar to other K&E cursors. Um, okay, uh, let's see. That, those are the basics. Let's start getting uh, a little bit more into it. Uh, so first, um, first let's compare the Versalog 1 versus Versalog 2, and then maybe I'll get rid of the original Versalog, um, so we can just have one slide roll here. Uh, what's the difference between the Versalog 1 and the Versalog 2? Uh, let's look at the other side. The Versalog 2 on top here, um, it introduces an A scale, which the Versalog does not have. So here's an A scale. And as a consequence, there's a little bit of rearrangement, and this L scale moves to the other side of the Versalog 2. Um, but that's the main difference. So they add an A scale because on the original Versalog, there is an extra space here for a scale. Of course, then they need to move the logo. Um, there's some differences in um, the end markings, and uh, the Versalog 2 has a little bit of extra self-documenting here um, that the Versalog 1 doesn't have, but otherwise, construction is identical. Uh, so let's just keep the Versalog 2. Okay, uh, so let's see, I have a list of things I want to compare here. Okay, first of all, let's get it out of the way, the cases. Um, so the Versalog originally uh, it could, could get it in a cardboard case um, or more commonly in a um, leather holster style case with belt loop. Um, very heavy case, um, hard, um, 
they have a tendency to uh, deteriorate here on the flap. So you'll see some missing the flap and others with kind of a distressed flap uh, area there. Um, they have a little spot on the inside of the case for writing your name. Um, okay, the Desilon on the other case, uh, on the other hand, comes in a case like this. Uh, the earlier ones are green. And there's no spot for writing your name there, so I think uh, a lot of them are marks with people's names. Um, k and &E also switches the 4080 series to this style case late in the production. Um, uh, so, you know, it feels like a, a, a flimsier case um, than the, the post case, but also leather. Um, so there is the Desilon case. Okay. Um, so, uh, both of these slide rolls are available in pocket versions, and actually, if you're a collector, those versions are more expensive. Um, I don't have a pocket version of the, either the Versalog 2 or the Decelon because uh, those tend to command uh, fairly high prices. Um, even if they were cheaper originally, they're more rare, uh, and people like the pocket slide rolls. Okay, but the scale sets for both are, are identical to the scale sets for the full-size rolls. Um, okay, first let's have a look at the... Uh, Versalog scale set. Uh, so the Versalog scale set, um, it's originally in 1950, one of its innovations in the market is that it comes with the eight log-log scales uh, instead of just the six. Um, and also the log-log scales are symmetric. If you compare it against the 1462 uh, slide rule, uh, you now have the symmetric log-log scale, so it has um, um, an even number of scales, uh, four for bases between zero and one, and four for bases greater than one. Um, okay, the Versalog also is known for its root scales, uh, here R1 and R2. These allow you to do square roots and, pow and uh, squares when used with C and D. Um, and the original Versalog uh, has no A scale, so all squares and square roots are done with R1 and R2 and C and D instead of with A, B, C and D um, on a traditional Mannheim rule. Um, and so that, that could be a little bit of a learning curve for those first... Uh, moving up from a simpler slide roll uh, to get used to using the R scales on the Versalog. That, the, the positive is that you get a little bit more um, accuracy uh, since uh, R1, R2 is essentially just a double length um, logarithmic scale. Um, okay. Uh, versus the 1462, the uh, Versalog slide roll moves to trig on the slide. The 1462 has trig on the base. Um, both of these slide rolls have decimal divided trig scales, um, and uh, that's pretty much it. The Versalog has folded scales, um, pretty much everything you, you expect on a high-end slide roll, um, unless, of course, uh, you're used to Darmstadt slide rolls, European slide rolls. There's no P scale on either of these slide rolls, uh, so you've just got the extended range log-log scales, uh, eight of them. You've got only three trigonometric scales. Uh, you'll also see slide rolls with, a, say, a T2 scale. But these slide rolls are similar in that they both uh, simply have the three trigonometric scales. Um, okay, let's have a look at the Decelon slide roll. Uh, so the Decelon slide roll scale set is really a, a no-compromise scale set. Um, it has both the uh, SQ1 and SQ2 for square. Uh, those are the same as R1 and R2 on the Versalog. Uh, so it has those scales that let you get higher resolution squares and square roots, but they don't give up A and B. So uh, the Decelon has full A, B, C, D uh, Mannheim subset, which a lot of people are used to coming up from a simpler slide roll. So uh, learning curve for Decelon might be less than learning curve for the Versalog slide roll. Okay, you've got uh, everything else standard K. Uh, so, so what does the Decelon have over the Versalog? Well, it has that... Uh, the A scale, or sorry, it has the B scale over the Versalog 2, which doesn't have the B scale. It has both A and B over the original Versalog. And uh, since it has 26 scales versus 24, the other additional scale is this DI scale uh, here. And so the, the Decelon is a strict superset of the earlier slide roll series from K&E, the 4081 or 4080 series um, with degrees, minutes, seconds. Um, and uh, Hopefully, intentionally, they designed it that way, so if you're used to using this slide roll, there's um, basically no learning curve to move to this slide roll. You have all the same scales you're used to, you just have more. Uh, you have more range for the log-log scales. Um, now you have a C scale on both sides, which you don't have on the 4081. Um, 
and you have these uh, new square uh, square scales, which uh, you don't have on the 4081, but you don't necessarily need to use um, on the Decelon. So uh, you're just moving up from this slide roll, basically zero learning curve, uh, to move to the Decelon. Um, okay. Uh, it's worth noting here that K&E uh, doesn't stop making the 4081. See, here's a late production with the newer 68 model number. Um, so they keep producing this slide roll, and they keep producing the uh, plastic version of it as well, the 4181, and then uh, its later model number. Um, so it, this is a popular slide roll for for many years, and K and E makes this one also to the end of the slide roll era. Okay, so those are the scale sets. Let's have a little bit. Let's look a little bit closer um, at the scale arrangement. Um, so. Both slide rolls here, uh, what they have in common is that they match the uh, R1, R2 square scales with the folded scales, which allows you to compute uh, the area of a circle directly by putting its, uh, that, that would be on DF directly by putting the radius on the square scales. Uh, so that's a nice feature that both use. Um, what, uh, what else do they do? They, they both have the trig on the slide, and they both have the uh, the same three trig scales on the slide. Um, the What are the differences then? The Decelon has the log scale on the slide, which some people like and some people don't. Um, the Versalog has the more traditional log scale on the base. Um, the Decelon has that DI scale, uh, which can be used especially with trigonometry to have uh, some shorter solutions to trigonometric um, trigonometric things. Um, okay, what else are the differences? Uh, the Versalog may be a positive is that it has the A, the K scale, uh, the C, D, and the, the root scales all on the same side. So all your kind of basic integer powers that you can do with it, um, all on the same side. Whereas on the Versalog, uh, you've got A, B, K here, but you've got your square scales on the other side. Uh, so maybe that's a plus for the Versalog. Um, the, the Versalog also has the matched log-log scales. So here you've got these two which are matched. Uh, you can compute inverses directly between them. Um, something on the Versalog, to do that, for example, on the Versalog, let's say that you, you set 0.5. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, so 0.5 on the Versalog here. On uh, lawn 2, you're going to have to flip uh, to get that 2 reciprocal on on the other side, um, if you if you want to use that use of the um, the log log scales on the verse log, uh, you d wouldn't have to flip the rule because you always have the matched log log scale on the same side. Um, another advantage of that is that it uh, makes computing hyperbolic functions a little bit easier. Uh, so you don't need to flip the slide roll to compute uh, hyperbolic sine or cosine when you're using the verse log. And also, you can actually do inverse hyperbolic sine or cosine um, by uh, doubling the number and then trying to add or subtract the matched values on the log-log scale, something uh, which you can do easily on the Versalog, but not uh, necessarily on the Decelon. Um, so a little bit of maybe easier hyperbolic functions with the Versalog, even though neither of these two slide rolls have those actual hyperbolic scales. Um, okay, another difference is the Versalog makes the choice that they put log-log 3 um, adjacent to the D scale here, maybe your most popular log-log scale to use. Whereas on the Decelon, they put log-log 3 all the way on the bottom. Um, so maybe that's not quite as nice. The advantage of the K and E layout, though, is it puts uh, LL0 near D. And you might know that uh, if you go off the end of LL0, you can continue on D. Uh, so in that sense, this is a very nice layout uh, because you can continue log-log 0 um, just by using the scale right above it. Whereas um, on the Versalog, uh, here you're here, you can use D, but uh, you're separated by a couple scales there. Um, okay, uh, what else? Uh, let's look at some little details. Uh, both slide rolls have some uh, end zone markings where they tell you uh, the ranges for the certain functions. Uh, the Versalog has a little bit of self-documenting on some of the scales uh, that the Decelon does not have. Uh, the Decelon, however, uh, has some scale extensions. They're modest compared to some European slide rolls, uh, but you see how the folded scales here extend past the index. Uh, the log-log scales have some extensions, um, and the trigonometric scales have extensions. The 
the Versalock slide rule has absolutely no extensions. Everything ends right at the end. Um, some of the later Hemi plastic slide rolls have some modest extensions, kind of like the Versalog, um, but not, or sorry, kind of like the Desilon, but not the Versalog. Um, okay, in terms of gauge marks, uh, you can see the Desilon here has a, a, some nice gauge marks. They have R, they actually have a 2 pi mark on this side. Um, they have um, gauge mark for pi on the A and B scale, um, uh, which I like. Uh, you can see here on this A scale that they put on the Versalog, there's no pi gauge mark. One thing I don't like about K&E's philosophy here, though, is that uh, it's the same on the 4081. When you're on the folded scale side, uh, they don't put the gauge mark for pi on C and D because they expect maybe you're just going to flip up to CFDF uh, or back to do multiplication or division by pi. I like Hemi's choice to put the pi gauge mark on both sides of this slide roll. Um, so, uh, plus one to Hemi in that column, even though they don't, um, they, they don't mark pi on the A scale, which I wish they had done. Um, okay, so maybe gauge marks are a mixed bag here. Um, okay, so I guess the question is, which is the better slide roll? And this is uh, controversial among uh, slide roll aficionados. Oh, before I get to that, uh, at some point, uh, Hemi introduces a green cosine scale here, which is kind of cool. I guess this could go towards the point. The point. I think that the, the Hemi roll um, maybe is the more beautiful roll with the, uh, the nice uh, bamboo construction. It has classic slide roll looks. Uh, when you look at it, you, you say that's a slide roll. Um, the Versalo, or sorry, the Desilon, um, it's kind of got this funky, uh, late aesthetic going here with the kind of the, the asymmetric uh, amount of scales. You got five scales here versus three here. Um, the, the angular end pieces. This is a very late production one where there's nothing here, but the earlier ones have some, uh, some uh, kind of grooves here which are colored in, one color on one side and one on the other. Um, I've heard the reason that those are not on the late the late ones is that um, that the uh, mold was damaged and the easiest solution was just to remove those marks. Um, so I would say the 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 Desilon definitely has maybe a better style uh, if you like the style, more style points. Um, the Versalog um, I think maybe has more beauty. So if it comes down to that for you, the Desilon definitely definitely has um, more scales. It has everything the Versalog has, plus, say, the B scale. Uh, if, you, if you want easy division or multiplication by square roots and you want to chain that, um, you really need that B scale, which the Versalog doesn't have. Um, I think the better one, it comes down to probably personal preference. Do you want the, the more classic slide roll looks, glass, cursor, everything? Do you want, or do you want the kind of stylish, new, plastic, modern era slide roll, uh, which is the Desilon? Um, how could they be improved? Well, uh, besides things about the gauge marks, um, one pet peeve I have on the Desilon is look at these markings for LL0. Um, look how far apart those are. They could easily put uh, extra marks in there for more precision, and you can see uh, the Hemi slide roll has them. Uh, so I think that that could be improved on the Desilon. Um, but it's actually re the, the reverse story if you look at the trig scales. Uh, look here at the S... ST scale on the Desilon, look they've, or sorry, the, the Versalog, look they've left uh, all that space there, um, where here on the K&E, uh, those extra marks are there, so it's kind of plus one or the other. Um, on the ST scale though, depending on your philosophy of the ST scale, um, you know, do you really have that accuracy there or not is a good question. Um, if, uh, if you think the S, ST scale is really just a scale which is a folded scale, then uh, you should put all the marks in. Uh, you can use it for conversion to radians or something like that. Um, and so I think K&E makes the right choice there, but the wrong choice there. Um, okay, so there we have our comparison of the K&E Desilon 10 slide roll versus the uh, Frederick Post Versalog slide roll. I'd love to hear which one you prefer um, in the comments. Have a good day.